We were doing so well together. We're a lot alike, you and I. You tested me. I tested you. You killed me. I... Oh no, wait. I guess I haven't killed you yet. Well, food for thought. Artificial intelligence. This term has been getting thrown around in the media a lot these days. But what exactly is it? The AI or artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science wherein essentially a machine is able to make human-level decisions. More specifically, AI is used typically in conjunction with machine learning to perform various tasks like pattern recognition, visual interpretation, speech recognition, etc. In essence though, AI is like a model of the human brain. Just like the human brain, AI uses neurons and learns based on experience. There are a lot of other branches of AI, like neural networks and statistical learning, but all this end up there. To keep it simple, there's no doubt this technology makes our lives easier. Some obvious examples of AI, some of which you may not have realized, come in the form of your online advertisements and music. Even Netflix movie recommendations, which are all produced through an AI learning algorithm, based on what it discovers through your hobbies, interests and search history. There are serious threats that will arise as the artificial intelligence rises. Like some of you may believe, the most concerning issue regarding the development of AI is not the robots that are gonna take over the world. The first impact of AI upon us will be unemployment. As AI gets better and better, human labor is no longer necessary. So robots starts to replace human in factories production centers and even in farmlands. A recent report predicts that by 2030, around 800 million that is almost 30% of all jobs could be lost worldwide due to automation. A few of the most threatened industries include warehouse jobs, manufacturing jobs and delivery services which we can already see happening today. There are songs that are developed solely using AI. Daddy's Car was the first ever song composed using purely artificial intelligence. This was made by developing flow machines in Sony's CSL lab. There, AI was able to stitch out a piece of song by processing a sample of a song from Beatles. Developments like this caused controversy regarding whether or not artificial intelligence is even threatening artistic industries. Other group of scientists believe that development of artificial intelligence can potentially become unethical, because in addition to the major job loss, it is unclear how to distribute the wealth acquired from these machines. And there's a lot of uncertainty regarding its safety and consequences. The potential benefits are huge, everything that civilization has to offer is a product of human intelligence. We cannot predict what we might achieve when this intelligence is magnified by the tools that AI may provide. But the eradication of war, disease, and poverty would be high on anyone's list. Success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. The door is malfunctioning. I guess somebody is going to have to repair it. No, it's okay. I'll do that too. I'll be right back. Looking further ahead, there are no fundamental limits to what can be achieved. There is no physical law precluding particles from being organized in ways that perform even more advanced computations than the arrangements of particles in human brains. An explosive transition is possible, although it might play out differently from in the movie. As Irving Good realized in 1965, machines with superhuman intelligence could repeatedly improve their design even further, triggering what Werner Vinge called a singularity. One can imagine such technology outsmarting financial markets, out-inventing human researchers, out-manipulating human leaders, and developing weapons we cannot even understand. The short-term impact of AI depends on who controls it. The long-term impact depends on whether it can be controlled at all. You really are doing great. Chell, I shouldn't spoil this, but... Remember how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a present for you. Well, I guess it's more of a medical procedure. Well, technically it's more of a medical experiment. 